Morning. Morning. What a great night. Great night of sleep too out there. Oh my gosh, what a day and a night and everything came together in one fell swoop. We were in Hanksville last night. We didn't book a reservation and they were full. They only have three hotels, so we were like, hey, well, let's eat some dinner and then call down to Tory. And lo and behold, the Broken Spur only had these covered wagons, <laughs> man. They were great. What a trip. You know, and that's never happened to us on a trip where no. we, we always like uh, just shoot from the hip yeah. and we always get lucky and get rooms. This is the first after a year of doing these vlogs where we had no room available. So we rode in the dark yeah. and you know, I don't like that because you know. Well, what was really cool too is like we had our son Josh with us <laughs> and we got up uh, just outside of Capitol Reef, outside of Hanksville in between there and we pulled the bikes over what do we do? We, we looked at the stars. We uh, laid on the ground and checked out the stars because they were amazing. For they like 45 huge. minutes. Where are we going today? So look, uh, since it was dark and he hasn't seen Capitol Reef, we're going to head back up into there. So we'll go back up about 10 or 15 miles. Then we're going to come back through here, which is Tory, go up over Boulder, which is going to be great. He's going to uh, dig it. He's and then dig down it. into Escalante. And I think we can get a great drone off the backbone there. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. But hey, with that, let's... Uh, well, let's try to get to Springdale and then let's get down the road. road. Hey, let's get out of here, man. Yes, sir. So we're in this trip about 1,250 miles right now. Your kickstand's down. And, uh, you know, we're here at the Broken Spur. I didn't realize we're at 6,800 feet still. Wow, and it's a nice warm morning. Yeah, it's uh, 64 degrees. Um, you can see the snow-capped mountains over there. What Someone told you they had snow last week? Yeah, I heard them saying they had snow last week, and uh, you know they're glad they're having this nice weather. Oh, I remember stopping at this gas station. Now I know what you're talking about. Right, well, uh, let's head to uh, back into Capitol Reef. Um, show Josh because we missed that coming through there last night. It was too dark. Yeah. Uh, then we'll make our way back and uh, we'll turn left there and go down the 12 and head to Escalante. And that's that's another beautiful one right through there. Yeah, by way of Boulder. So we're going to get some elevation today. We'll be up in that snow. We might be able to get a couple really cool shots up there. Yeah, that'll be nice. So let's... Uh, Let's get down this road. I mean, those those wagons were, that was, uh, I know you were a little bit reluctant, you know, you're like, oh, what do you mean wagon? And then it was like, we got there and it was just super dope. They were uh, really one of my favorite stops we've had in a long time. I, so I know. I slept really good. I like, kind of like you were outside, you know? Yeah, it was really cool. It brought back a lot of memories for me. We used to hunt and camp in the canvas tents and the the wind was whipping up a little bit and that sound of that tent just man i slept like a baby i actually thought it was raining on us <laughs> pretty cool now look at this right josh isn't this beautiful yeah he, he loves it he said it's insane insane i just can't believe it's almost like we're uh riding through a a movie set for the last 1500 miles you know yeah it's just beautiful what josh what were you saying so his mic is outside of his helmet but i caught i think i caught what he was saying it's uh it is so insane it's a really crisp crisp nice morning for a ride and he's just super stoked to be out here this morning yeah life is good life is good there he is i'm back he says uh, yeah, I mean, we've talked about coming down here. We've been here a couple times, and we've talked about taking the, the ladies, and there's a resort down here that's pretty pretty spectacular with the views, but I don't know. We may have to stay in those wagons with them at some point. Uh, I know 100% Laura would definitely want to stay in the wagon for sure. Yeah, the kids, I sent some pictures last night, and they were all jealous. Ah, uh, that's funny. Yeah. Um, you know, last night, the thing I didn't like is even at the restaurant, the lady's like, hey, be really careful. It's open range. There's a lot of cattle, a lot of wildlife, and we're going right into the darkness. Yeah, look at these rooms. And and we did just fine. Yeah, totally. You know, we saw some cows, uh, but we didn't see any other wildlife. We saw more wildlife during the day yesterday up in uh, the LaSalle Mountains. Yeah. 
Um, we did see a lot of cow pucky. Yeah, that was definite. <laughs> definite. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's let these guys enjoy this view for a little bit, and then uh, let's get down into the bottom of Capitol Reef and uh, take a little little break, get back on the road, and head head out towards uh, Boulder and Escalante. Sounds like a great day. All right, brother. See you down the road. Later. First time we came with the gals. Yes, I do very much. We crested that, and uh, laying on the side of the road was a bloated cow. Yes. And you walked up to it and you just stuck your knife in its stomach. <laughs> no, I did not. Okay, I thought you were. <laughs> wow, what a great day! You know, we started this morning. We backtracked into Capitol Reef because it was dark last night. Right, right. Showed Josh that. Pretty cool. What is this up here called? This is like Boulder area. And this is the scenic byway route 12 that goes over into Escalante, which is where we'll head next. And yeah, we're at about 9,600 feet. That's awesome. I mean, it's really great weather. It's cool, but nice, just a little crisp. I mean, I thought we were gonna need to put a jacket on, but it's 63 degrees and yeah. it's perfect. Yeah, it's, I'm loving a little bit of snow left. I mean, it's patchy through the valley and over there, you can see the mountains off in the distance. I mean, this is really, it, this trip just it keeps changing and changing, and getting better, and, and there's just awesome places throughout the whole time. Yeah, and it, again, reminds me of home. You know, we used to be up in the Quake and Aspen hunting and camping, and it's just, it's beautiful. Yeah. I'm but uh, hey, we need to get to Escalante, and then I think, you know, we can either end up in Springdale tonight, St. George, Mesquite, we'll see kind of how the, the day runs, and... We'll be looking for lunch pretty soon. Yeah, but we don't have a plan today. No, we don't. We're kind of great. we're kind of on a casual the flow. The vagabonds. Yeah. Yeah, we're just on a roll. Josh is flying his drone around and having fun <laughs> doing crazy stuff, and we're having fun doing it with him. And you know, outrageous. Well, I'm digging it. Shall we see him down the road? road?
Hey Lance, you got your ears on. Oh yeah, I sure do. Well, we got to keep our eyes peeled on this one. This, this is one of the most spectacular roads we'll ever go on. It sure is, man. What are they? Uh, is this the stair, the Grand Staircase? Yeah, the Escalante Grand Staircase, but this is the Escalante Backbone, as they call it here in Utah. I love it. And you, yeah, you can see on both sides of the road. Yes. You know, it's a drop off into a, a great canyon. Incredible rock structure. It's just beautiful. Josh was like, "Wow, that was insane." It uh, definitely is insane. I'm glad we're on motorcycles to enjoy this. Well, he said that's insane as soon as we locked in and he's back there enjoying the ride. He's going to get a number of miles of this and it's just going to... I w can't wait to see his smile when we get off for lunch here in Escalante. <laughs> right, right. You know, just uh, this place never disappoints. Southern Utah. Never disappoints. Whoa, get Whoa. over here, buddy. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. I mean, it just gets even better and better as we go through here. I mean, the earth and, and this, all this area has just been so carved out and just amazing. Well, and you got to think about that, like millions of years. A lot of history. So you can see they, they had to probably blast this to, to build a road through here, you know? Right. Not like that natural road that was uh, down in uh, Capitol Reef. Right. I mean, wind, rain, sun, just erosion. Snow. The rivers that carve through the sandstone. and Just amazing. Now wa watch this when we come around this point. You're going to get the other side of it. Oh, wait for it. Boom. Yep. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. So, hey, we're about uh, 20 miles outside of Escalante, maybe a little less. We'll uh, get in there, get some lunch. Uh, we're at about 5,900 feet right now above sea level, and it's 77 degrees. Perfect day. And curves for the next four miles. Oh, yeah. All right, brother. We will see you down the road. Love it. Hey, we're here in Escalante, and we were... Your, is this part of your group? Out, yeah, see, he has the card Sorry. from when we met him last time. Whoa. That's it, How's dude. that, man? Yeah. The desert doctor. In person. He, he goes around, and he repairs bikes. Guys break down. You just call him, and he'll ride out to you. He's got all these tools. Done, Pretty darn cool. We've done two tires this morning. Were you in Hanksville? We were. That group of KTMs? They oh, all put diesel fuel in them. Oh, no. You're going to have to get... What is wrong with you people? Talking to everybody, talking to the women. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't realize until their batteries all killed. Hey, man, it's the things you see out here on the road. And good Only to see other... you again. Yeah, good to see you. Where you. Hey, guys, we hope you're enjoying this movie as much as we enjoyed making it. Uh, listen, we wanted to let you know about TulaneLife.com. It's our website where we have blogs, documents our travel, where we stayed, where we ate, maps, all those great things. We also sell motorcycle parts and accessories. You should take a look at that. What do you think? Great stuff. Go to the website. Now back to the episode. Hey, we're in Escalante, Utah, and we were here about a, maybe 14 months ago, right? And uh, the desert doctor rolled up on us at the gas station and uh, as we came into town today, we were on the mics, and I said, hey, he's over at the gas station. And Josh said, should we turn around? And like, well, we need to get gas. And next thing I know, he rolls up, right? You invited us over to your place? Yes. Tell us a little bit about... Those, uh, those bikes that you saw me buy, I did a tire for them a year ago. 
and they had called me the other day. What, are you going to be there just in case? Right. <laughs> I mean, I too many shops don't want to work on the bikes. Don't want just want to sell you helmets and bags. But no, I keep every tire for every bike in stock. Every brake pad, staters. Nice. So what's you. up on the wall here? When I change a tire, I put down where they're from. All these countries had a tire changed here. Is that right? The only way to get on the Wall of Fame is to have a tire changed here. Okay. All these countries. Wow. And I, you're originally from where? Chicago. Chicago. And you've lived here how long? 14, well, 20 years, going on 20 years. Yeah, I myself broke down here 30 something years ago. Is that right? I came back. The Terminator <laughs> effect, I'll be back. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you've got it all yeah. dialed in. This is amazing. This, morning this is paperwork simply amazing. Paperwork it's like a museum. Here. But I've already done two tires this morning. <laughs> so I got an 1897 house, totally rebuilt it. So how many of these pins and stuff do you have around? This I mean, here got... is my little totem pole. I let people put their stuff up. Okay. A lot of people come here and they want to put a pin or put something up. Hey. I started out with one of a lot of people put their coins up. This, these people were from Fiji the other day. Wow. They were stuck on a boat for six months. They couldn't dock. Oh, man. With their motorcycles and all that. With the virus. I make these walking sticks. So you gave us uh, a little... The Road resort, Warrior. The Road Warrior. And what is that What signify? it is, it's my personal gift. It's a motorcycle headed west or back to California. I make it out of the T-post that holds the barbed wire up on the road. Slice them up, drill a hole, and you only get them from me. That's awesome. We have it right here. Yeah, here thank you, you so much, and thank you for having us today. How about it? I mean, I, I just love, I guess every day I get California for some strange reason. <laughs> I see a Ventura, California, Irving, California. Look how these people come in here. And then they, this, this is a week for the tires right here. <laughs> this guy was a black cup, the Blackhawks from Pasadena. And they wanted me to fix it. I said, well, put another tire on. Yeah. It's, it's insane. This is my women's wall. These, these are all women that we've done tires for. Say that again? These are all women. This is my women's wall. Okay. These are all women. Wow, this is wow. insane. We had the one lady kissing cousins. She comes every year and she's, you know, I want my own wall. Uh, and then she came, huh? she came last year. She said, wait a minute, I want to be the only one on it. I said, look, I'm running out of room. Do you paint these? I do. I slice. I, I, I slice them. I figure out what the, what it is. I make a stencil, paint it, and put them. I hand paint it. Nice. My buddy here is a hand painter. Right hand here. Lettering. I used to be a sign painter. Yeah. yeah. Looking good, man. I do my own. Yeah. Well, we truly appreciate it. Thank yeah. you, Desert Doctor, There's, for taking the this time. This door is always open. Hey, we'll see you this down, down the road. road. Do you know where we are? I have no idea where we're at. Wait, you don't know where we are? I don't. I never do. I bet you Galen does. You might. I have no idea where we're at. Well, I don't know the Where are we at, Josh? We're in Escalante, Utah. Who knows what restaurant, but it's pretty, looks pretty good. Got a chicken salad, chef salad, bacon, chicken, this and that, you know. Yeah, I think it's the D bar or D something. I don't know, oh but God. hey, we got a chef salad. We finally got the chicken here. Looking good, a little raspberry vinaigrette. This is a Uinta cutthroat, pale ale. Nice. Ooh, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I hear you. My chicken's on the side, chef salad. I couldn't wait. Where are we headed? I usually eat separate stuff anyway, so hey. Where are we headed, dude? Uh, we are headed to Zion. We'll stay at Springdale tonight, which is just outside of the park. Great little town. We'll show you some footage there. Awesome. We're going to eat, and we will. Down the road.
So we've been going to Sturgis many years and I've always wanted to see a bison. You took me through Yellowstone. I think there was a glimpse of one way out in the distance. And yeah. so I really didn't get to see it. So your quest this year was, hey, I'm gonna find Lance a bison. Well, we're in Utah and what happens? Well, there's a, a bunch of bison out in the field here. So we got a field full of bison. We're gonna check them out because, hey, we're on the road and funny things happen and great things happen and yeah and what a great day i mean we started up in arches we came down through capitol reef we just uh, took the 12 es escalante the backbone was amazing great uh we turned on the nine here and we are headed back into zion national which is where we will spend the night tonight and we've seen so many great things along the way and now we are here and there's a bunch of bison well let's get a shot with the camera of the bison yes all right we'll see, we'll you, see down you down the road, down the road. Chewing some gum, waiting in line. That's about it. Right. You know, where are we? We're getting ready to go in the long tunnel, and I'm gonna flash a sign. Two, lane, life. All right. <laughs> oh, they know we're in time. So we're in Zion National Park. We're headed to Springdale. Let me help out here. We're in Zion National Park. We're headed to Springdale. This tunnel is a mile and a half long. Gonna be dope. see you got your ears on yes I have my ears on so what an epic day huh yeah what an epic day I can't even believe it and we got to see bison well that was uh, a treat I mean we'll try to get them when they're out in the wildlands this year and either when we go to Yellowstone in uh, in June or you know when we go back through to uh, Sturgis South Dakota absolutely maybe we'll need to run over to custer state park we we've, we've been through there but not all of it so yeah you know i gotta say this is the last night of our trip we're heading home tomorrow and uh we've had one heck of a good time don't you think i mean we've seen southern california uh, california southern utah at its finest we've had great weather we've had snow on the peaks we've been in these desert oases uh, from from monday forward i mean it's just been awesome yeah, it's a pretty amazing thing, and it's like next month, hey, guess what? We're going to be going up to Big Sur, so we're going to have a whole different vibe going. Totally different, and just look at the magnitude and the grandeur of these. Well, now that we know that this is Josh's favorite place that he's been all year, he likes this place the best. Well, and we've got a couple of other drops, and that's cool. I, he, he's been uh, pretty stoked on the day, but we've got a couple of other drops, and people could check those out. But this is going to have a whole different uh, look and feel to it. We have the Zion Run 
we had the young gun run so people should look at those um, and just compare and contrast the differences of what we've done on this trip it's amazing what the footage we've got yeah and, and i hope everyone's enjoyed everything up to this point and we'll probably get a little bit tomorrow on the way out and then sign off till the next time yep uh it's about seven o'clock i'm getting hungry you know we're dropped down we've been at about seven to eight thousand feet almost all day long we've dropped down to 4100 feet above sea level we need beer we eight, need food yeah it's 86 <laughs> degrees so we do need some beer and food yeah settling for the night take it easy boy just look at that up there this is uh beautiful never disappoints i mean i'm i'm trying to point the helmet up and look down at the same time so uh hey if i run into the back of this white car just go by me and make sure you get the GoPro. That'll just be another part of the adventure, you know. <laughs> Galen ran into the back of the white car. That could be our clickbait, right? Because <laughs> we don't clickbait. Nah, we don't need to. No, we don't. We just want to share epic footage. Well, we are staying at the Holiday Inn Express. Uh, we'll uh, get in there, check, checked in. We're going to try to go live tonight, so we'll see how that works. Uh, get some dinner and uh, call it a night. All right, well... Epic day, wonderful times, and we will uh, see you all down the road. We'll see you down the road. Where are you at? Hey, we're in Springdale, Utah, just outside of Zion. We've eaten here before, we're at Switchback. We're gonna have a steak tonight. Can't wait. Check out what they do over here. You digging it? I'm digging it, looking good. Oh, there's your asparagus too. Yeah. Whoa, nice flame. We're gonna go in and eat right now, yes. The food has arrived, so let's see what we got. So I got the petite filet, uh, medium rare. It is perfect, they had us cut the steak to make sure it was cooked well, and they did it to perfection. We got some mashed potatoes, some mushrooms little port wine reduction sauce, some mixed veggies. What'd you get? Well, I got the house filet. Oh, nice and rare. Kind of still breathing. Superstar for this. Looking good, looking good. Wow. I got the sea bass, there? Brussels sprouts, and lentils. Kind of stoked. Let you me can see dig how into some of those mushrooms and stuff Let's too. see. Mm. Oh what? Hey, we'll see you down the road. Hey, good morning, two lane lifers. We are here in Zion National Park, a little town called Springdale. What an epic morning, great weather, and what a great trip. Oh, six days of, of wonderful fun. I mean, it's great. You know, you get home, you're excited to be home, you're glad you get your own bed, you get up, you go to the studio, and you're like, uh, I want that next trip. That spark comes right back and Heck it's yeah. like we love the road and we want to be on the road. Yeah, and if you guys like this drop, uh, go back and look at a couple of other drops we have. We took the young guns through Zion when we went to Sturgis. Yes. Uh, we've taken the wives here and you and I have come through this. So check out those drops as well. If you really love this Zion drop, you'll, you'll love it. Yeah, yeah. So hey, subscribe to our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel. What do they need to do? Well, they need to comment. They need to do a thumbs up and ring that bell. And, and we love that, you for that. We will see you down, down the road. road.